Hello everyone, and welcome to Tabletop, the channel dedicated to all things trading cards and board games. This show and the following content was made possible thanks to viewers like you who supported us through buying singles and products from our website, www.tabletop.ie, or our card market account. If you want to show your support in other ways, then please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get on to the episode. Welcome back Team Tabletop. Our story today is going to be Secret Lair, and in particular, the Secret Lair that just released, which is Secret Lair Extra Life. Now, I'm sure you guys are all wondering, should I buy a Secret Lair Extra Life? And there's a lot of questions that arises from this. The thing is, Secret Lair Extra Life is great value. Let's take a look at the cards there. The first one is something that I've been eyeballing for the longest time which is Teferi's Protection. Currently going for around 22 euros on the card market and fluctuates a little bit. You can get on the lower end of the spectrum for 20, but let's say 22. And the next one is uh, Consecrated Sphinx, which costs also 20 euros for an English copy that's in good condition. Collect the company's 10 euros. So already that's 50 euros worth of value, along with an amulet, an amulet of vigor, which is worth seven euros, bringing our total up to 57 euros. And how much is Secret Lair extra life in Europe. It's currently going for around 65 euros. However, it's going for $60 over in the US. That's around 55 euros. So why is the price difference so big? And the reason is, I'm not too sure. There could be a variety of reasons, clearly. Uh, going from Wizard of the Coast is trying to screw us over to there's just different taxes over in Europe, which is what I like to lean against. Now, the thing about the Secret Lair Extra Life is that $30 of every single Secret Lair purchase will be going to a charity, which is great. I love that. However, it's Wizards of the Coast, so I'm a little bit skeptical about this, which is why I'm making this video today. Now, let's think about this logically. It costs 65 euros. However, they're only going to be donating $30 as according to their website. So even though they're charging a little bit more, they're not actually giving more to the charity. It says $30 on the website. Whether this is an oversight, a mistake, I'm not too sure. Maybe we rectify it later on, who knows. But my problem with this particular secret layer is that it's very pricey for four cards, like extremely. For a company that doesn't acknowledge the secondhand market, they seem to price it extremely close to the second-hand market. And I don't think that's a coincidence, At, but you know, that's a tinfoil hat off. But let's think about this a little bit more. My issue with the secret layer is that it's expensive. It's so expensive. My problem with this secret layer in particular is that it feels like a foot-in-the-door approach. They are buttering us up for expensive secret layers that cost over 60 euros or $60 inside the US, which is what I'm not okay with because they're getting positive PR from donating to the charity. And I feel like they're using that as an excuse to actually bump up their price. Like they could just easily sell this for 30 euros or for an extra optional option, you get uh, extra cards for the 65 euro price tag. But they're not doing that. They're charging you 65 euros straight off and taking $30 instead of 30 euros to give to the charity. And they're using this to butter you up in order to make yourself more susceptible to buy the products in later iterations if they so choose to make it more expensive and then they decide not to give to a charity. In which case you're like, oh, well, I'm already used to paying 65 euros for it. So what's the harm in doing it again? And that's the thing. If you're on the fence about getting a secret lair and you're thinking, wow, you know what? It's only eight euros more expensive. Uh, it's going for a good cause. I feel like that's a good idea to have, but it feels like they're taking advantage of people who would normally not spend that amount of money and they're getting you to do this once just so they can attack you again later on when there's no charity because your mind is used to already buying the secret lair. And that's where I'm, that's where I'm getting off at the moment. It just feels a little bit sketchy. I don't necessarily agree with it. I love the fact that it's going to a suicide prevention uh, help charity. Like I benefited from a lot of those in my lifetime as well. So I'm a big advocate for that kind of thing, which is why I'm a little bit iffy on the fact that uh, they're using it as an excuse to butter you up for future secret rares, which is what I'm, which is what I'm seeing. I could be wrong. Now, if the next couple of secret layers that cost 65 euros, donates 30 bucks to a different charity every time, then by all means, I'm more than happy to shout out because I'm going to be buying these cards anyway. 
I really want the berries of protection. I want to conserve its things. I want an amulet of vigor. Collect the company. Eh, give or take. I want those cards. And if I can help out with charity by doing so, I will. There's no need for me not to. I'm getting a little bit extra. I'm getting what I want. What I don't want is that people coming into this thinking that Wizard of the Coast is a benevolent company that does this for uh, for out of the generosity of their own heart. I'm going to say that. They're not doing that. They're not that kind of company. We've seen what they do. They've exploited the player base. They know what they're doing. And they know exactly how to get to you. So if you're planning on buying a secret lair, extra life, just know that in this particular instance, you are helping out a charity. You're getting the cards in return. Great. But don't for an instant think that they're doing this because they, they, want, to, they want to help. They're doing this just so they're buttering you up. That's how I feel about it. But then again, like I said, I could be wrong. In the future, prove me wrong, wizards. In all your secret layers, just donate to charity. If you do, I'll consider you a good guy. And that's my rant. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. More Magic the Gathering stuff coming up soon. Commander Legends is going to be opened up in a week or two. Along with a set review of Commander Legends, which I would like to do during the next week since, the, uh, since this set has been released. But until then, everyone, look after yourselves.